Welcome to the Neurology Channel, a YouTube channel dedicated to all things neurology. We have a passion for sharing our knowledge and experience with others. On this channel, we cover a wide range of topics related to the brain and nervous system, including common neurological conditions, diagnostic tests, and treatment options. We also discuss the latest research and developments in the field of neurology. Whether you're a medical professional looking to stay up to date with the latest research, or a patient interested in learning more about the brain and how it works, the Neurology Channel has something for you. So if you're interested in all things neurology, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thanks for stopping by and we can't wait to share more about the fascinating world of neurology with you. Introduction to Generalized Myasthenia Gravis Generalized Myasthenia Gravis MG, is a rare autoimmune disorder that affects the muscles that control movement. It occurs when the immune system produces antibodies that attack and destroy acetylcholine receptors, which are proteins that allow nerve impulses to be transmitted to the muscles. As a result, the muscles become weak and fatigued easily, leading to a range of symptoms that can affect daily life. MG can affect people of all ages, but it is most common in women under the age of 40 and men over the age of 60. Symptoms and Impacts of Generalized Myasthenia Gravis The symptoms of MG vary from person to person and can range from mild to severe. Common symptoms include weakness in the muscles that control the eyes, face, throat, and limbs, difficulty speaking and swallowing, and double vision. These symptoms may come and go, with periods of worsening, called, flares, followed by periods of improvement, called, remissions. The impacts of MG can be significant, as the weakness and fatigue caused by the disorder can make it difficult to perform everyday activities such as walking, speaking, and swallowing. In severe cases, MG can lead to respiratory failure and require the use of a ventilator to breathe. Treatments for Generalized Myasthenia Gravis There is no cure for MG, but there are several treatments that can help improve muscle strength and reduce symptoms. These treatments include medications such as cholinesterase inhibitors and immunosuppressants, which help to increase acetylcholine levels and suppress the immune system, respectively. In severe cases, intravenous immunoglobulin, IVIG, or plasma exchange, PLEX, may be used to remove the antibodies attacking the acetylcholine receptors. There are currently three FDA-approved treatments for generalized myasthenia gravis, ecoluzumab, Celeris, Alexion Pharmaceuticals, Ravulizumab CWVZ, Ultimiris, Alexion Pharmaceuticals, Efgartigimod Alpha, Vivegart, Argenex US. In addition to medications, physical therapy can be helpful in improving muscle strength and function. Surgery, such as thymectomy, removal of the thymus gland, may also be considered in certain cases. Coping with generalized myasthenia gravis. Living with MG can be challenging but there are ways to manage the disorder and improve quality of life. It is important to work closely with a healthcare team, including a neurologist, to develop a treatment plan that works for you. It may also be helpful to join a support group, as connecting with others who have MG can provide emotional support and practical tips for managing the condition. It is important to listen to your body and pace yourself, as overexertion can worsen MG symptoms. It may also be helpful to enlist the support of friends and family to help with tasks that may be difficult due to muscle weakness. Research and progress. There is ongoing research into the causes and potential treatments for MG, and progress is being made in understanding the disease. Clinical trials are currently underway to test new medications and therapies, and researchers are working to identify genetic risk factors for MG. With continued research and advances in treatment, it is hoped that individuals with MG will be able to manage their condition and lead full and active lives. Thank you for watching the Neurology Channel. We hope you found this video informative and useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you want to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. We post new content every week so make sure to check back often for more insights and information on all things neurology. If you're interested in learning more about a specific topic, let us know in the comments and we'll do our best to cover it in a future video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.